Hi, welcome back. And here we are with the composition of atoms of the first 10 elements with electronic distribution in various shells. Here we go with the first element, hydrogen. As we all know that the symbol is H and the atomic number is one. Please find the link for that video in the description box to learn the names of all elements, the symbol and the atomic number. Number of protons is one. Here we don't have the neutrons and the number of electrons in hydrogen is one. So the valence is one as we have one electron in the outermost orbit, we have the valency one. The next element is helium, symbol is He, and the atomic number is two. Number of protons, two. Number of neutrons, two. And the number of electrons is also two. So the valency is zero. In helium, the shell is completely filled with electrons. That is, its duplet is completed. Thus, this shell cannot gain or lose or share electrons. Thus, the valency of helium is zero. Next is lithium, symbol is Li, atomic number three. Protons three, neutrons four, and electrons three. Atomic number is three, so its electronic configuration is two and one. So it needs to lose one electron to attain stability and get an electronic configuration like noble gas helium. Thus, its valency is one. Lithium has a single electron and the second principal energy level. And so we say that the lithium has one valence electron. Next, we have beryllium, symbol is Be, atomic number four, number of protons is four, number of neutrons five, number of electrons four. For the electronic configuration, we have two and two, two in the first orbit, next two in the second orbit. The valency is two, the total number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. The last shell of the atomic orbital is also known as the valence shell. Boron, symbol is B and atomic number is five. Number of protons, five. Number of neutrons, six. Number of electrons, five. So the electronic configuration, two electrons in the first orbit, three in the second orbit. Boron, atomic number is five. So by applying octet rule, we get in K shell, two electrons, L shell, three electrons. As in outer shells, it has three electrons, which is less than five. So it has to release or donate these electrons for stability. So the valency of boron is three. Next is carbon, symbol is C, atomic number six. Number of protons, six. Number of neutrons is six. And number of electrons is six. So the electronic configuration in the first shell, it is two electrons, and in the next shell, it is four electrons. As carbon atom contains four electrons in its outermost shell, its covalency is four. Next, we have nitrogen, symbol N, atomic number seven. Protons, seven, neutrons, seven, electrons, seven. Valency of nitrogen is three as nitrogen is five electrons in its valence shell. It can therefore accept three electrons to complete its octet. Oxygen, atomic number eight, 
protons 8, neutrons 8, and electrons 8. Number of electrons and oxygen is 8, so electronic configuration of oxygen is 2,6. It takes or accepts 2 electrons to achieve 8 electrons in its outer most shell to complete the octet and become stable. Hence, the valency of oxygen is 2. Fluorine, symbol F, atomic number 9. The fluorine atom has 7 electrons in the outermost shell and its valency could be 7. But it's easier for fluorine to gain 1 electron instead of losing 7 electrons. Hence, the valency is determined by subtracting 7 electrons from the octet. And this gives you a valency of 1 for fluorine. Neon, symbol NE, atomic number is 10. The outermost shell of neon has 8 electrons. That is, it has a complete octet. Thus, neon does not gain or lose or share electrons. This valency of neon is 0 and it is known as 0 valent.